Are you an Aspire student? Students who achieve an average GCSE score of 6 or above are invited to join the College's Aspire programme at the beginning of their lower 6th. The average GCSE score that qualifies you to be on the Aspire programme can vary a little bit from year to year, but it's usually just above 6. Students with a right grade profile will be invited to take part in enrolment. Weekly Aspire tutorials run throughout the lower 6th year and are offered in addition to regular weekly tutorials. There are usually a maximum of 12 students in each Aspire group, and each group is allocated its own dedicated Aspire tutor. Let's see how the Aspire programmes help two typical Aspire students, Ava and Yusef. Ava is doing Biology, Chemistry and Psychology A-levels. She's got an average GCSE score of 8.5 and thinks she might want to work in something relating to biology or health. Yosef is doing A-levels in History, Geography and French, and he achieved an average GCSE score of 6.6 .6 and doesn't really know what he wants to do in the future. The main focus of the Aspire programme is to help students plan for their lives after college. The Aspire tutorials are geared up to help you identify the things that you're passionate about, so your hobbies and interests and things that you love doing, research different career possibilities using career quizzes and a variety of tools that the college subscribes to, explore the huge range of degree course options accessible by their UCAS website, Spend time looking into which universities offer the courses that you're most interested in. Pin down the best combination of courses and universities based around your predicted grades and other personal criteria that you set yourselves, such as distance from home and whether you want to be in a city or on a campus. During Aspire tutorials, the Aspire tutor will also provide support with writing applications and will encourage you to develop your academic or what we call supercurricular interests. EPQ most students on this FIRE programme also do an Extended Project Qualification, or EPQ. This is an additional qualification equivalent to half an A-level. Most EPQs focus around independent research, resulting in an extended essay. But they can also take the form of an artefact or field study. The range of things students do for EPQs is endless. The priority is for students to focus on an area that they are genuinely interested in. The areas that students choose to focus on for their EPQs are really incredibly diverse and they range from whether media literacy should be taught in schools or even to building a remote controlled drone. Some top universities award a lower offer if students achieve an A or an A star in their EPQ. On top of the Aspire programme, all students also benefit from college-wide careers events including Get Ahead Day, a careers fair that includes over 100 exhibitors from universities, employers and gap year providers, National Apprenticeship Week, with apprenticeship talks running throughout the week at college, many of which are given by our former students. Progression Day, a follow-up to Get Ahead Day, which takes place in the summer, that covers progression routes into university, apprenticeships and employment. Work Experience Week, designed for lower six students to take up a range of face-to-face -face or virtual opportunities, supported by the college's careers department. With so much support available to Aspire students, it's not surprising that so many of them, including students like Ava and Yusuf, go on to secure places at some of the UK's most prestigious universities on their most competitive courses.